So today I am here with a brand new makeup collection video. My desk was from Target, my mirror was from Winners, and my nail polish rack is something that Nate made for me, so I can leave a link in the description bar of the video that we follow to make that shelf. So on the left side of the desk is where I keep all my current favorite palettes, or the ones that I reach for the most, or the ones that I just find look really pretty. So this one I have here is the Ariel palette from the Sephora collection a couple years ago. Then up front I have the Urban Decay First Naked palette. Then I have the new Tartlet in Bloom palette, which is this gorgeous palette. It has three shimmers and the rest are matte. Then I have the new Urban Decay Gwen Stefani palette which I really love. That's another gorgeous palette. Then I have one of my all-time favorite palettes, which is the Stila In The Light palette. And then I have my MAC blush palette. I have four MAC blushes in here and then a Makeup Geek blush. Then there is the Balm How About Them Apples cream blush palette. And then I have my MAC eyeshadow palette. And I can do a full video on this if you guys would like to see it. And then right here I have the makeup products that I reach for every day. So if I'm in a rush, I'll just grab for everything in this little vanity go-to drawer. First thing there is the Beauty Blender. Um, it's a little bit dirty and expanded right now because I used it not that long ago. So I set that out there to dry. And then I have my Anastasia Brow Powder. I have my Bobbi Brown Corrector. I have the Too Faced Primed and Poreless Primer. I have the Anastasia Dip Brow. A sample size of the Tarte Maracuja C Brightener Treatment. A MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. And the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. Here I have my Kat Von D uh, tattoo liner Mad Max Brown, a sample size of the Tarte's Light Camera Lashes that I'm using, my NARS eyeshadow primer, I have a Shu Uemura eyelash curler, the Anastasia Brow Wiz, and the Anastasia Brow Gel. Lots of brow products in here. I have the Estee Lauder Double Wear Brush on Glow BB Highlighter, which I use as a under eye concealer. And then I have the NYX HD Concealer Yellow Tone Corrector. And then in this little section is where I still keep all of my MAC lipsticks. They just fit in there so perfectly. Then this is where I keep all of my lipsticks. So I have these acrylic drawers from Amazon and they each hold 24 lipsticks. So I have two of those. And then I have one here that holds nine lipsticks and this is from Dollarama. This one's a little bit more sturdy than this one, so if you're not looking to hold a bunch of lipsticks, I would recommend going out and looking for this one rather than picking this one up off of Amazon. So yeah, this is where I keep a mishmash of my favorite lipsticks. So I have some Chanel ones there, I have a couple of Revlon ones, I have some Smashbox, my Dior Lip Glows, which are some of my all-time favorite, um, I have Bite Beauty, the Movember lipstick, Bourjois, which makes amazing lipsticks, um, CoverGirl, Maybelline, Rimmel, NYX, uh, Too Faced, Urban Decay, and more bite. This one is one of my favorites because I find it so colorful. But this is where I keep all of my Revlon lip butters. I have a lot of Wet n Wild lipsticks in here. Um, I have some Milani, L'Oreal, I have a YSL, a couple of mini Buxom ones hidden away down here, and then my Too Faced Melted lipsticks. Then right here I have this little table lamp. I have Bioderma, which is an essential for me, and then Max Fix Plus, which I really like using for um, eyeshadows that tend to have a lot of fallout. And then I have this uh, sample of the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water. Then right here I have a Q-tip holder and a cotton bud holder. And then right here I have my brushes. This is the holder that my Sigma brushes came in. And then back here I have this mug that my friend made for me. It's one of my favorite Sex and the City quotes. It says, hi, I'd like a cheeseburger, please. Large fries and a Cosmopolitan. And that's where I keep a lot of my face brushes. And then my face brushes in here, and then a mix of face and eye brushes. So now, getting into the drawers, which is where I keep the majority of my makeup. So we'll start down in these corners. This is where I keep my foundation. So I have the MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Foundation. I have the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. I have Rimmel Wake Me Up and Lasting Finish. I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Locket Foundation. And then my MAC Studio Fix Fluid. And I have a lighter shade there. I think this one's NC, I think this one is NC15. And this one is NC20, so I can mix the two. And these plastic drawer type things come from the Dollarama, so that's where I get a lot of my makeup storage stuff. I have a couple of concealers and a foundation. 
and some primers. So I have the L'Oreal Lumi Magic Cushion, which I did a review on. And then I have this Tarte CC Primer. I have the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And then I have a couple of primers, the Baby Skin and Smashbox. And then I have the Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and the Maybelline Age Rewind. And then you'll notice this little guitar pick I have here. This came with an Ico mascara. And I use this as a mascara guard so I don't get mascara all over my eyelids when I'm putting it on. You can use any guitar pick for it or really anything for that matter, but I find that guitar pick fits really nicely. This right here is my couple of blush drawers. So blush is one of my favorite, favorite makeup products. Here I have the Benefit Hervana, the Rocket Chore, the Sugar Bomb, and Dandelion, which is one of my all-time favorites. I've hit major pan on this. Check that out. So that's one of my all-time favorite blushes. Then I have this little Powder Wowza kit from Benefit, which came with the Hula Bronzer, Bella Bomba, and Coralista blush. I have two Stila convertible colors here, and I also have a Gosh Giant Blush Stick. This is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blush in the shade Luminous Flush. Isn't that so pretty? And then under here, I have Frat Boy from the Bomb, and then I have an Instain blush from the Bomb. Then back here is where I keep extra powders. So I have the MAC Studio Fix Powder, and I have the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation, and then I have the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Translucent Powder, which is one of my all-time favorite powders, and then I have a little Makeup Forever HD powder, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm really excited to. And then right next door to this blush drawer, I have more blushes. So this is where I keep my Tarte and my MAC blushes. A couple notable ones here is this one. It's Captivating by Tarte. And then this is one of my new favorites. It's Spellbinder. Really gorgeous color. This was one of my favorite collections along with The Simpsons. This was the Archie Girls collection from MAC. Then back here, I have more blush. So this one is one of the new Too Faced Love Flush blushes in the shade Baby Love. There's that one. Gorgeous peachy shade. And then I have this one from Milani, which is one of my all-time favorite blushes. This is in the shade Romantic Rose. So in this drawer, it's kind of a mix of blush and highlighters. So I have this MAC Mineralized Skin Finish and I have this MAC Highlighter. This is in the shade Freshen Up. I have one of the YSL Baby Doll Kiss and Blush in the shade number nine. Then I have two ColourPop blushes. These are amazing. This is the shade Birthday Suit. And then this one is the shade Holiday. So in my highlight drawer, I have the Mary Luminizer, which is a gorgeous gold champagne color. I have Soft and Gentle. I have an Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder. I have the MAC Archie Girls uh, Beauty Powder in the shade Flatter Me. I have Champagne Pop. I have a Strobe Cream and a What's Up Highlighter. And then a Josie Marin Highlighter. And then Dior's Amber Diamond. Here I have my bronzer collection. So this is the Bourjois Bronzing Primer. This is a cream bronzer, which is really great. And then I have the Body Shop's Honey Bronzer in the shade 01. So I have those on standby for when I run out of my Milk Chocolate Soleil bronzer. And then I have my Simpsons uh, blushes from the special collection that they had out last year and then in this corner behind the Simpsons blushes I have this little container full of mascara samples. So I have everything um, from Tarte, Dior, Makeup Forever, Bare Minerals, and then I have the elf kabuki brush I have a couple of Tarte maracuja oils. I have my black beauty blender I have the Avino fresh essentials moisturizer I have a sample of the Makeup Forever Mattifying Primer, and I have the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder, and then I have a Dior Creme de Rose, and then I have my Retin Link uh, Peanut Butter Peppermint Lip Balm, and a Too Faced Primed and Poreless Powder, and Too Faced Melt Chocolate Soleil. I have the Tarte Park Avenue Princess uh, Blush and Bronzer Palette, which is amazing. Now, to get into the extra space down here. So these are just three door storage crates from Walmart. So in this top drawer here, I have a lot of lip stains and I have a lot of lip balms and lip glosses. So over in this corner, I have all my LA Splash lip products that I have. Um, so I have some of their velvet matte stains and I have some of their Studio Shine 
lip clusters. Then this drawer right here is one of my favorite drawers. This is a mix of lip stains and lip pencils. Lip pencils are some of my all time favorites to use. So right up front I have my NARS Velvet Matte Lip Pencils which are my all time favorites. Then down here I have a L'Oreal Le Matte and a Maybelline Color Blur. I have a couple of ColourPop ones. My all time favorite lip stain which is ColourPop's Clueless. I have some Bite Beauty stuff. I have Soap and Glory uh, Sexy Mother Puckers. I have Revlon, I have Tarte. A lipstick avalanche is about to happen. And this one is where I keep any of my lip glosses or lip balms. I have these blotting powders from Sasa. And then I have my lip pencils back here and I really love lip pencils. So a couple of my favorites out of this bunch would have to be NYX Mauve. Rimmel's Isen Snob is one of my favorites. And also I really love Max Soar. And then this next door is where I keep uh, little eyeshadow quads or trios, single eyeshadows, or eyeshadow pencils, or extra eyeliners that I have. I have one of my favorite duos from NARS. This is Isolde. I also love this warm autumn shade from Pixie. This is really pretty warm brown. And I just think it's one of the most gorgeous crease colors. So, and this one is where I keep my nail polish stuff. So I have some swatch wheels. I have clippers. I have a file. I have Beauty So Clean makeup sterilizing wipes and some mini OPI nail polishes back here. This is about to get a little bit wild guys. This is my sample drawer and this just keeps piling up because I always forget to use samples. So I really have to dig through this. So yeah, I have hair masks. I have face masks. I have lipstick samples. I have shampoo samples. Then this next drawer is where I keep palettes that I'm not reaching for at the moment or any backups of my favorite products. So I have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette down here. I have an extra mascara. I have a couple of Naked palettes. So I have Urban K Naked 2 and Naked 3 and then Naked Basics. I have the Too Faced Naturalized palette. Some Wet n Wild ones. I have a couple of steel ones back here and then the Carly Bible palette. And then as for backups, I have an Anastasia Brow Wiz. I have the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner Mad Max Brown. I have a Benefit Gimme Brow. I have my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. A couple of Tarte mascaras that I got for Black Friday on sale. I have the NYX Bohemian Chic Nude Matte Palette, which is one of my all-time favorite palettes. And I have a Kat Von D palette here, which I recently got on Sephora on sale. And it has these beautiful neutral shades. This MAC mini palette, which has two Makeup Geek eyeshadows and MAC Cranberry. And then last but not least down here, so I have nail polishes down here that don't fit on my nail polish rack. I have a couple of hair tools. And then last but not least, I have my nail polish rack. Uh, which holds a bunch of nail polish, which I have to go through very soon. I haven't done a declutter of this yet, but I definitely need to have a look through them because there's a lot there. So I have OPI, I have Essie, I have some Butter London, Sally Hansen, and then China Glaze. Some Revlon ones and then Deborah Lipman. So that is everything for my makeup collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what some of your favorite products are in your makeup collection. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Making a Bashley. And I'll be talking to you guys soon. Bye!